guys, so welcome back. So I wanted to recreate the look that I was wearing in my Tinder story time video. So I sat down a couple of days ago to film it and like I was getting done filming it and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna add a little bit of purple. Let me just add a little bit more. So I came out with this look and I was filming it and I was actually using my brand new camera that I just don't know how to work. So when I went to export the footage onto my computer and like see it, it just was not good. Like the quality was really bad. So I sat down and I filmed it again for you guys but I just feel like this is like the epiphany of like fall like the eyes are really fall and you can obviously change the lip to a darker one if you want to make it more fall appropriate so yeah so I hope you guys enjoy the video don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already um, make sure to follow my social media links I love you guys just so much and I'll see you guys very soon Bye. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a look that I actually did a couple of days ago, but um, the eye look and everything was perfect. It was just two things wrong with that fucking video. One, my eyebrows looked so bad, like so bad to the point where I couldn't even upload it, even though the eye was amazing. My eyebrows just looked so extremely bad and also I filmed it with my new camera which is a Canon M3 something and I don't know the settings on that camera and how that works even though it's the same brand as my Canon T5i um I just couldn't figure it out so like the whole video was just like it's just it wasn't good quality so I wasn't gonna post it so then I was gonna do it yesterday night but I had some plans and I went out so I couldn't film it. So then, here I am right now. So I'm going to be filming it today. Also, if I just seem like a little like too out of it or just too like, I'm so sorry. Um, We went out last night to a frat party and I am just extremely hungover. Like I don't think I've like been this hungover in a really, really long time. So like I literally have like a cup of water, like water bottles all over my room because I'm just trying to get rid of this hungover, hungover, hangover, because it's just, I hate hangovers so much, it just feels so like, like it's basically like that day is a waste of time because you just feel so out of it, so I'm sorry if I look like that, um, but today is the only day that I actually can film this video. Recently, okay, so I'm going to spray my face with the Smashbox primer water, I always do this. So I'm just putting hydration back into my face because it's extremely dry. Um, I fell asleep with some makeup on last night. So it, that really did just fuck up my moisture level. Is that even a thing? Oh yeah, and also I didn't upload the other video because I wasn't wearing a choker and it was bothering me so much that I, I just couldn't do it and I really liked how that look turned out. So hopefully it turns out as great, as good as it did Shut the fuck up. Okay, so I'm going to take my Too Faced Hangover RX primer. And you know what's so funny? I have not been using pore filling primers in like a week and a half. And that says a lot because I've been using pore primers since I started doing my makeup. Literally since the baby skin days. Um, I've been using pore primers. And I'm also breaking out, I'm sorry. Um... And I haven't been using like pore filling primers in a week and a half. I just feel like it dries out my skin so much. I'm gonna go in and color correct. Um, I never include this in my videos just because I feel like the average person doesn't color correct. Like when I do my makeup um, around my friends, they're like, why are you putting orange on your face? So I feel like you know, some people do color correct, but, like, the average person does it, so I just feel like it's a waste of filming time. Okay, so also, if my voice sounds a little bit deeper, it's because I feel like I'm getting sick, and I feel it's because of last night. So, I have a tendency of always sleeping with my ceiling fan on. This looks so, like, intense, but I promise it's not. I have a tendency of sleeping with my um, ceiling fan on because I just like the noise and just like I just like sleeping with noise because I feel like um, what am I doing? Okay, so then now I'm gonna 
sorry. I have to, I'm, I'm doing a makeup tutorial, get it together. So I'm gonna go in with my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow and my Urban Decay All Nighter. Honestly guys, this combo will last you all night. Like, I always have a problem with my foundation fading. You won't with this, like, it's an amazing combination. Okay, anyways, I always have that tendency of like going to sleep with my ceiling fan on because of the sound and because I get hot during the night but obviously it's like fall and I live in Virginia so the weather gets like really um, cold really fast so um, I always sleep with my fan on and I feel like that's what fucks up my immune system so last night I was wearing a very very low cut shirt I'll put a picture of it here um, and it was freezing outside like it was so cold I never wear jackets to parties just because you get hot really easily and I literally had to put on a jacket because it was so extremely cold and literally my chest was out all night because of the shirt and um, like literally full nipple and everything like the amount of times my friends had to tell me my nipple was out because it was so low cut and like my whole chest was just exposed so um, I feel like that also fucked me up a little bit more and made me a little bit more sick um, because it was just so cold and my chest was out so it was like all of that air was just hitting my bare skin on my chest um, so I feel like that fucked me up too I just woke up with like a really sore throat and a headache just fucking everything was wrong with me this morning um but yeah I really wanted to film this video because I really like this look this look is like my favorite look I have ever 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 done like ever so now for concealer I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'm gonna put this underneath my eyes and I'm wearing so much fucking makeup right now but I'm actually really liking it. Okay, and then I'm going to go on top of it with the Urban Decay Naked Skin just to add a little bit more moisture and like help me blend out the shape tape because it is a little bit on the thicker side. Um, so it's just gonna help you blend it all out. And then I always go back in when I want full coverage with my brush and just blend that out oh my god I've been filming for 12 minutes and I just got my foundation down and then I'm going to blend out this as well okay so along with not using a pore primer I've also not been baking my under eye like I bake everywhere else because I have really large pores but I just don't bake underneath my eyes and I really like how it looks well today I have to bake because I'm using darker colors so I do have to bake but right now I'm just gonna set it with some powder just like normal and then I'm gonna go ahead and bake when I am doing my eyeshadow just so the fallout doesn't stick to my skin and I also set my eyelids at the same time. And then I go in and I start baking around my mouth. And I bake around my mouth because of my fine lines. So now I'm going to go in and set the remainder of my face. And I'm just using my... I'm using my medium dark mineralized skin finish natural by MAC. So for this look, I'm going to be using my Morphe and Makeup Geek eyeshadows that are in my custom Z palette. So um, every one of these colors is going to have a different brush and you want to keep it that way so that not all of your colors get like mixed up and like they kind of become muddy if you use one brush for all of your colors. So I'm going to start off with this shade right here which is called... Um, the fuck is this called 
chickadee. There we go. I was going to say pickadee. So we're going to start with chickadee. And this is going to go in this area of your eye. So not in your crease, just a little bit above it. And this is what's going to make your whole look re really um, gradient because it's such a light color, but it still shows. So it's going to show that there's a very, very light color at um, the very beginning. So you just want to go ahead and put this in your transition area. And I go in about four times with that color, but every time I knock um, the excess off, so not a lot comes on. So I do this about four to five times and just make sure that that color is nice and blended out. Like that. Okay, so then now you're gonna go in with another brush. So the brush that I was using for that color is the E40 by Sigma. So now I'm gonna go in with the M441 by Morphe, which looks like this. And I'm going to go in with this shade right here by Mor um, yeah, Morphe called Spice. And this is going to go directly into that crease area, but it is fine if it gets like above it or below it. Um, just because if it gets below it, we're going to put a darker shade on the lid. And if it gets above it, it's just going to help with the um, gradient effect. So same thing, I go about, I go in about four to five times with that same shade. And I kind of look up like this so I can really tuck it into my crease because I have more hooded eyes. And I make sure to bring it in from inner to outer corner. And yeah, I'm just going to make sure that this is nice and packed in there. So this color is what's going to really make this whole eye look very radiant and colorful. So I'm going to go in with this blush right here by Becca. It is called Lantana. I actually picked this up on accident because I thought it was another blush that was in the wrong area. So I'm going to go in with this shade and this is going to go directly into that crease and a little bit below it just the top portion of the lid like i'm not purposely bringing it all the way down but i'm also not really caring if it gets a little bit on the lid just because that's what's going to add to the effect so i'm just going to use this shade to add that red because i don't have like a red red shade well actually i think i do in my morphe palette but um, I like this because it's not completely red, it's kind of like orangey red, so it goes with like the whole warm tone that we have already going on. Okay, so then I'm just using a Real Techniques base shadow brush, so I'm going to go back into my Sigma E40 and just blend those shades out. I'm also picking up um, Chickadee and Spice with that same E40 and really making sure to blend that red out. And this look is all about like keep, like I keep my brushes in my hand because I just keep going in with um, more product and then going back out and blending it with the other brush and then going in with this brush. So you just want to make sure that you keep adding product and not like going in with a lot at once. And the reason why I'm picking up Chickadee and Spice again is because um, when you blend shades out and they're like not that dark, you can't really see them anymore. So that's why you want to keep adding and blending, adding and blending, adding and blending. And this is going to be a long process of blending, but it's going to be worth it at the end. Um, for the outer corner, last time what I did is I just went in with, let me get them with these two purples right there, but those are just a little bit too cool. Like it's not like a purple purple. So I'm going to go in with my Morphe 35B palette and I'm going to try to find a clean fucking brush. There we go. So first I'm going to go in with this purple right here. And I'm just going to put this in my outer V Like so. So 
So you just want to blend this purple inwards. It's okay if it's not blended out completely because then I'm going to go in with this darker purple and just put the tiniest bit of this right on top. Okay, so then now I'm going to go in with the Morphe M433 and I'm going to grab these two shades right here. Bitten and Secretive. I always use that shade. So I'm going to go in with Bitten by Makeup Geek and Secretive by Morphe. And I'm just going to push this in here and then blend it out. Like that. And I feel like I'm kind of losing a little bit of that red so I'm gonna add that in before um, I do anything else so this is just gonna go in here okay yeah there we go okay so I'm just going to keep I'm not even blending I'm literally just patting and it's kind of doing the blending for me because it's like just in one spot and then I'm putting this just a tiny bit into this area of the crease. I'm not really bringing it like all the way in. I'm just keeping it on here and blending inwards. You don't want to blend outwards because that's what's going to give you that punched eye effect. So yeah, you just want to keep it out and blend in. So then once you have this, we're going to go in with black. Now you want to use a very, very precise brush. So I'm going in with the Medium Sweeper E54 by Sigma, and I'm going to go in with Corrupt by Makeup Geek, which is literally just a black. So I'm just gonna put this right here. And then I'm going to go in with that brush that we use secretive and bitten with and I'm just going to blend those shades out. So for our lid shade we're going to use two shades. Um, I'm going to go in with this shade right here by Morphe. Is it Morphe or Makeup Geek? It's Morphe. It's called Dazzling. So that's what this looks like. It's like a bright ass orange. So we're also going to go in with Golden Glory by Morphe, which is one of my favorite shades ever. I'm dropping shit everywhere. So I'm just gonna mix those two shades together. Once you put it, oh my god, I didn't bake underneath my eye. Holy fucking shit. I like to tug in my eye like this and then bring it in. And then I'm just going to blend that crease shade out. Then I'm going to do my lower lash line just because we're here already. So I'm going to go in with that E40. And Chickadee. And I'm just going to put this on my lower lash line. Can you guys even see? Then I'm going to go in with um, Spice again, which is that orange matte shade, and do the same thing. I'm going to take that red and put that in here. And then I'm going to take a flat definer brush, if I can find it. Here we go. And I'm going to take Corrupt, which is just that matte black and I'm just going to put this um, close to the lash line like as close as I can get it so now we're going to go in with a pencil brush I know so many steps and we're gonna take bitten and secretive which are those the two shades the two purple shades not the bright ones the other ones 
and I'm going to use these shades to blend out that black. And I'm going to go back in with my E40 and just... <sighs> Sorry, I had to get another SD card. Okay, so I'm just going to blend that out. So for the inner corner, we're using my highlighter because it's more golden. So I'm going to mix the two shades that are in here and just pop that in the inner corner. So this is what we're working with so far. So now I'm going to go in with some mascara. My favorite mascara is the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash. To go in with um, Nude in my waterline. So I put on some falsies and I also did just like a quick line on top. Um, I didn't do a wing or anything, I just did like a, a line. So then, I'm going to take this out of my struggle tail. It's not even a ponytail, it's called a struggle tail. Okay, so then now we're going to go in with some bronzer. So I opened up a new one of my Hourglass the Radiant Bronze and I'm so excited to use this. So I left my Anastasia contouring kit at my friend's house. My Too Faced Coco contour. So then now for blush, I'm going to be going in with Melba by MAC. This is like such a safe color to use when you just don't know what blush to use. And since we have cool and like warm tones, um, you can't really like use both so this blush is perfect and it goes with everything okay so then now for highlighter I'm going to go back in to my Milani Tantastic I'm like taking the foundation off of it so you guys can see it um, this is such an amazing highlighter from the drugstore um, and yeah I'm trying to find my fucking brush so I just mix both colors in and then and I'm using a Royal and Lang, Lang Nickel powder brush from Walmart I love this brush for highlighter I used to use this one which is the contour brush but I don't know I feel like this just makes the highlighter a little bit more um, like diffused And now for lips, I'm going to kind of do low-key like an ombre of nudes. So I'm first going to line my lips with Spice Lip Liner by MAC. Okay, so then now I'm going to go in with Queen Bee by Too Faced. And then now I'm going to go in with Child Star, which is also another liquid lip from Too Faced. And then because you guys know I need a gloss, I'm just going to go in with this Nude Belay by L'Oreal. So this is a final look guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the look. I really really like this look. Like I said in the video, this is one of my most favorite looks I have ever done on my channel, on me. I think this is the favorite look. Like I love this look so much. Um, so I hope you guys did too. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to follow my social media links. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! Wherever love goes, there is also misery It's no mystery And you and I, we got history Yeah Wherever love flows, there is also tragedy
when we're in too deep And you and I, we got history, yeah 